Here on GoPSUSports.com, Brian Tripp with Penn State Hockey Head Coach Guy Godowski. Let's first look back at the previous week played on Thursday and Friday against St. Lawrence, a 2-2 game and then a 4-2 loss on Friday. It seemed like St. Lawrence did some things really well with their ability to play physical and have speed to match that. Uh, they sure did. They played a great game on Friday night. I think we played a very good game Thursday, and I think we had uh, the bulk of the territorial play and then and then Friday came along, and I think they we weren't ready to match. They were really a battle-tested team. I think they played some really tough contests so far and physical to contests. And they think I think they were just much more prepared to battle than we were. So we can use that as a tremendous experience. Um, I think my sentiments are very much shared by the, the by the players themselves, and I think we all would like to have another shot at uh, at them. Um, and but I think we're going to be a lot better off the next time we play a similar uh, a team that has a similar that that matches their intensity and physical play. As a coach, when you talk to a team and you know that, okay, the guys are feeling upset too, and I'm feeling upset, <laughs> does that tell you something about your team because they have kind of the demeanor that their coaching staff has? Oh, I don't know if the coaching staff, but I mean, yeah, well, sure, that's easy as coaches. We weren't out there, but I think we were very, you know, we could see how they were feeling after the game. And in fact, we didn't say one word. Um, we didn't have to. Um, we could see very clearly that they were – they're a little disappointed. Would love to get another shot at them, and really, they didn't need a lecture from us at that time. So, as always, I, I really do believe in the leadership that we have, and I think uh, they must have done a pretty good job because today's practice was was excellent. It was high level and uh, high intensity and 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 positive. So I think that they got over it pretty well. Not only this past week, but. Uh earlier games this year they've shown a lot of really good things how do you take that and get them to sustain that not just for 60 minutes but 120 minutes over a weekend yeah that's a really good question that's a really difficult thing to do I mean it's easy to say that we're going to be consistent we're going to play six really good periods and that's very hard that's difficult to do um, it's certainly some a goal that we strive for and uh, knowing that we played an excellent game on on Thursday and we're not able to duplicate on that Friday is is an indication it's very good information that we still have ways to go in terms of mental toughness and preparation and and we'll keep learning so it's it's the point is well taken it's not an easy answer but I think you have to go through it to get over that hump you've had really good goaltending play so far from both Eamon McAdam and Matt Scoff Matt's gonna get an opportunity to go on Friday when you're at Niagara what have you seen from both of those individuals yeah I thought well I actually I think both of this these games were probably both of their best games um, it's really unfortunate that we wasted a performance we, we got a tie I think Matt Scoff played well I think their goaltender played exceptional as well I think we were the better team that night but certainly on Friday night we didn't match um, St. Lawrence at all and I think the shots and score were very were not indicative at all of how the game went I think they they crushed us they had four four breakaways at least a lot of odd man rushes tons of great a opportunities and I thought Eamon was tremendous and and that's a problem anytime your goaltender is the best player on the ice and you lose then then it's not a good indication of how the team played so it's too bad that we wasted that performance. I thought he was excellent. and uh, But it's nice to see they both had very strong games, so we're confident going forward. Well, you're going to be on the road this week at, at Niagara. It's a Friday night game. Do you approach going into one game, non-conference, on the road any differently than your home series? How do you approach a, a one-game series? Uh, no, we don't. We don't th with the same way. So we always approach the week as to what we're doing Friday anyway. We don't even we don't worry about Saturday. We just worry about the very next game, and that's that's going to be exactly how we approach this week. All right, guy. Thanks. Thank you, Penn State hockey head coach Guy Gadowski, with us here on GoPSUSports.com.